This will be a tough afternoon. Guys are playing in their white shirts, navy blue shorts, navy blue socks, as normal, shooting from right to left as we watch them. Uh, Oxford City line up in your yellow. So let's just go through those team uh, lineups again. Stephen Drench in goal, Ryan Tilson, Ben Parker, Danny Lowe, Danny Ellis, Jake Lawler, Wayne Brooksby, Danny Boschel, Adam Boys, Josh Wilson, Gavin Rothery. Um, and for Oxford City, Mark Scott in goal, Declan Benjamin, Paul Stonehouse, uh, Darren Pond, the captain, Jose Lapajade, Adrian Santiago, Claudio Hoban, uh, Ander Del Alamo, Adi Youssef, and Javier Rodriguez, and Kynan Isaac. Not quite on the same wavelength as the front men. Guys, he get the ball flicked on well by Brooksby. Gives it to Adam Boys on the right-hand side. Boys has to come back. Gives it to Lawler. Lawler's got Rothery in field on the edge of the D. Ro Rothery feeds in Boschel. Boschel into the area. Cross feints of goal. Just behind Adam Boys. He couldn't make the connection to force it over the line. Oxford City defend it. Lovely flowing move there from Geisley. Boschel with a, a good ball across the face of goal. Perhaps might have thought of taking the shot himself. And in the end, it was just behind Adam Boys. game thus far. And uh, the score is goalless, but we've only had 15 minutes. And now Oxford come forward here with Stonehouse. A silver header comes in there from Ada Youssef. And Ada Youssef's header just goes over the bar. But a brilliant ball there from Paul Stonehouse. Towards the right flank in the end, trying to pick out Wayne Brooksby. Cut out well. Oxford defend it. The second phase with Geisy, though. Wayne Brooksby. Plays the ball, lovely ball into the left-hand side. Gavin Rothery across the face of goal, almost turned into his own net. Good piece of defending in the end. Santiago, I think it was, who managed to force it behind. to a guysy corner, but a super chance that for the line. Tilson on the right-hand side. Launches this one long into the area with the throw. It's bounced back to him. And uh, Geisy tried to get the ball under control. There's a late challenge here on Gavin Rothery. And uh, there's a bit of afters between Tilson. I think it was Stonehouse over there who made the challenge. The referee straight across Rothery onto the ground. Hopefully he's OK. Referee goes across to speak to him. Danny Boschel and Stonehouse are talking to each other, but there was a, a very sharp reaction from the guys he players to that tackle. How do you see that one, Tom? Well, it did look like a hard one. Um, Rother is still down here. I hope he's OK. Mm. I think, I think he, is he going to pull a card out here? It looks like he might be. Man across there, Darren Pond, being called over as the captain. And uh, he's pointing at the other end of field, saying that uh, the challenge, that, that possibly the one that he felt was worse. And I think it was. It's yellow. Now, is that um, is that Darren Pond, who was actually the man who committed the foul there, who's got the yellow? Boschel. Now to pick out Gavin Rothery once again, having a very influential start to this game. Gavin Rothery goes past Benjamin. Benjamin holds him up. Rothery keeps to his feet. Good skill from the Geisy man into the feet of Ben Parker. Good delivery. Has a yeah! good chance to have a go. Adam Boys. A super pass from Ben Parker. A super header from Adam Boys. And it's 1 0 Geisley. That was fantastic there. It's a really good play from Geisley. Good ball in. And a fantastic header there. Well, it was all made by the cross. What a brilliant ball in from the uh, former Leeds United defender, Ben Parker. A brilliant curling cross from his left foot. Picked out Adam Boys, super calm header. And uh, what uh, you've got to also appreciate the uh, contribution that Gavin Rothery made in the build-up to that too. Brooksby, Brooksby distributes this one in towards the back post. Josh Wilson competes for it. It's free inside the penalty area. Gavin Rothery can't get onto it. Ben Parker recovers it. It's sent back into the area. Boys is through. He's caught on goal. He's onside. He hits it bottom side of the upright from inside the six-yard box. It's crossed back in. Boys can't control it this time. Ben Parker can recover. Guys, he's so close to the second. Ben Parker goes up against Benjamin. Gets the ball towards the back post. Up towards Jake Lawley. He can't keep the header down. It's still with Geisy, though. Wayne Brooksby, two players to aim for, plays at the edge of the 18-yard box. Josh Wilson takes a shot, takes a deflection behind for a corner. Some great attacking play by, from Geyser there, and absolutely fantastic. I mean, the ball just kept seemed to, keep, seemed to keep landing to them. Steve Drench with a free kick inside his own half, sends it long up towards Josh Wilson. Good nod down from Wilson into Boschel. Boschel picks out Boys. Boys is on save. This time he finishes it. Oxford City, look at the linesman. The ball over from Danny Boschel, beautifully weighted. Found Adam Boys on the edge of the uh, six-yard box. A calm finish from Boys, and it's Geisley to Oxford. Geisley press into the feet of Josh Wilson. Wilson's got uh, Boschel behind him. He gives it to the captain. The captain plays it in, and it's towards Adam Boys. And Boys couldn't get on the end of that one, and it's claimed by Mark Scott. And they uh, 
cool foot from Danny Lowe is required to take over and give the football to Ben Parker. Parker sprays the ball, crossfield ball out to the right-hand side. Wayne Brooksby runs at Stonehouse, gets the ball across the six-yard box. Josh Wilson misses from inside the six-yard box with an open goal ahead of him. It came at him at such pace, he just couldn't get the foot over it. And it skies over the bar from, what, three or four yards out. And he looks to the sky, applauds the cross. Now by Brooksby, Danny Lowe out here to the left-hand side, Gavin Rothery. He's got Ben Parker ahead of him. Parker surges forward down this left flank. If he can deliver the cross, he's got Josh Wilson and Adam Boys in the area. He's held up, has to go into the feet of Gavin Rothery. Back here to Boschel, back to Parker. Good, patient play now for the Lions. Parker cuts in field, goes towards the edge of the 18-yard box, plays it in here to Josh Wilson. He's clear of the back line. It's bounced into the net. It was a shot on goal by Wilson. Well saved by Scott. Bounced into the edge of the six-yard box, and I think it might even be an own goal for Stonehouse. But uh, Geisley have got the third, and that's all that matters. It's Geisley three, Oxford nil. Claudio Hoban, and he's been a real threat. Plays a lovely ball here to Yusuf. Yusuf gets a shot away, and it's behind for a goal kick. Looks a threat. Now Claudio Hoban comes forward. He uh, skips past one, sends a ball in field. It's a chance for Oxford to get one back, and it's a shot that comes in from Kynan Isaac that really should have been better delivered or better uh, placed. He's knocked it wide, and it's behind for a goal. Okay. out into touch. And no doubt that should be just about it for this uh, first 45. Referee just wants a little bit more. Maybe he's enjoying the rain. <laughs> Santiago sends it forward. And the half-time whistle blows, and it's been a super first half for the Lions. Two goals from Adam Boys has been the difference, and uh, an own goal that we think was uh, given, but, uh, well, put in by Paul Stonehouse after a, a good strike from Josh Wilson. There's been chances galore for the Lions. Josh Wilson put over inside the six-yard box uh, an open goal. He could have made it more, and uh, uh, so could Adam Boys. He hit the bottom of the upright from close range as well. Guys, he'd been absolutely commanding in this first 40. Five half time here, Geisy three, Oxford City nil. Not quite sure there was an advantage on that occasion. Never mind, he's given it. The flick on now goes out here. Adam Boys has found himself clear on the left hand flank. He's not offside. He goes in towards the area and then the flag does come out. Oh no, the referee gives a free kick against him. Well, what a confusing passage of play. What's he given there? I have no idea what he's given there. I mean, first of all, it was the offside, but I mean, it came too late for that and. The free kick in the end, but in the end it was a throw-in on the far side. Throw was was in the end, but nobody, nobody uh, followed up with that play. So uh, Wayne Brooksby now with a super tackle here on uh, Isaac, and he gets the ball into the area up towards Boys. Boys is header, looping over the goalkeeper. Great save from Mark Scott as it headed into the top left-hand corner. Mark Scott did enough to palm it over the bar, and it's behind for another Geisy corner. Well, guys, his uh, first half is. Uh, Give him a chance to settle. Well, so Adam Boys has chased a, a long clearance. The goalkeeper, Scott, now has a standing confrontation with Adam Boys. Adam Boys challenged the goalkeeper with plenty of physical presence. He needs to calm down as Adam Boys because he doesn't want to be involved in this. But what Scott did was he was called, he was called out, caught out rather. Adam Boys closed him down, challenged him as Scott tried to complete the clearance. Then after the clearance was completed, stood up, had a confrontation with boys. Arms oh, seem to be raised a little bit there, and the referee, Neil Sharp, he's got something to sort out this afternoon. I think he'll just give them both the stern word. The free kick, right on the angle of the penalty area on the right-hand side. Guys, he have four players forward, Ollie Johnson, Adam Boys, Jake Lawler, Danny Ellis, inside the penalty area to aim for. Uh, this is a, a difficult one to deliver for Brooksby. He does so, and it's put into his own net, and it's Adrian Santiago who puts through an own goal for Oxford City. And so, guys, you have a four. It's guys, he four. Oxford nil. There was Wayne Brooksby there, his free kick. Very driven, driven straight into the box. And uh, couldn't defend it there, and it was straight in off the uh, Oxford defender. And it's 4 nil now to Geisley. Gives it to Ryan Toulson. Toulson chips it forward towards Ollie Johnson. And Ollie Johnson's bundled through the back goes down and I would say Lose, Jose Lapajade will go into the book for that and he uh, throws the ball away gesticulates and the referee gives a free kick and actually goes to the uh, assistant referee on that near side uh, to just have a word before he goes across to uh, take any action or retribution against uh, Lapajade but uh, it was a firm 
It was a firm uh, challenge through the back there. And Fylde, of course, who stuck eight past Oxford City a few weeks ago. Still in good form. This free kick's taken. It's gets up to the back post. And uh, Danny Ellis had to be alive to the danger to get that one away. But Oxford City recover it. It's uh, here with Barcelos on the right flank. It's crossed into the area. Nobody can get on the end of it. Tom Winters, Mike, with his right foot. Not his preferred option. And in the end, it was easy for Stephen Drench to claim. Wins this one and sends it out here to Wayne Brooksby. Brooksby down this right-hand side. Only Ollie Johnson ahead of him. Brooksby runs, cuts in, gives it square. Good shot from Nicky Boschel. Palmed over by the goalkeeper, Mark Scott. Another corner to Geisley. It was Wayne Brooksby again there from the right-hand side. I think it was to the... Uh, well, Nicky Boschel with a shot in the end. Tipped over by Mark Three Scott. Three blows for full time. And you can hear the reaction of the home fans here. Guys, the comprehensive winners against Oxford City. Four goals to nil. Three of those came in the first half. Adam Boys with two. One we're undecided on. We think it's Paul Stonehouse has put into his own net. Into the second, the guys, he pressed and pressed. They got the fourth. Adrian Santiago had a torrid afternoon. Put the fourth in through his own goal. Finished here. Guys, he four. Oxford nil.